Guys, we're back inside the studio where we're going to be doing some printing, right? I know we spoke about sublimation before. I remember we did that just the other day. We did screen printing. We did vinyl. But today I'm going to show you another process called DTF, which is direct to film. The process is basic and similar to the other process, but it's much quicker than vinyl because you know i showed you before in vinyl you have to cut the vinyl you have to weed the vinyl it's a process but dtf which is slowly becoming one of my favorite it's faster and you don't have to weed and you don't have to cut right but i'm not saying that vinyl is not important so let me show you the steps of dtf right inside of the print shop check this out Today we're going to be doing a print job for Park Slope uh, Peppers restaurant, right? So that's their logo, big up to Peppers, Park Slope. They're going to be op opening up soon. So they give us a gig um, to print some aprons, some visors, some some t-shirts, um, and some polos, right? Some wrong neck and some polos. So what we had to do first here, guys, is what I did first is basically set out the graphics um, on on this on this PDF sheet, and it's all different sizes because of course you know the size for a, a left chest um, logo would be slightly um, smaller than that of say a front um, or a apron size. So you see that the logos are different sizes, ranging from what we needed for. These logos here, the smaller ones, the smaller ones here are going to be used for the visors. The visors are smaller in size. So first we have to measure the size of what of the substrate that we need to put it in. And then of course, go ahead and send to the printer. Yeah, so when I say send it to the printer, yeah, I mean just that. We're actually gonna send this graphic directly to the printer. And the printer that we're gonna be using is a special DTF printer, direct to film. So it actually prints on a film, which is then um, doused with powder, a special powder, and then it's sort of baked into the graphic, right? So that process basically makes it easy for the, the graphic to adhere to the T-shirt and is there forever. So let's send this to the printer, go inside the print shop and show you the process now of heat pressing the graphic onto the garment. So we're inside the print shop now. Now after the garment is printed, it comes onto a film like this. So this is the film and it already has the powder, it's already baked in and this is just ready to press onto the garment. So we have our heat press ready, set at about 378 degrees for 10 seconds. We're now gonna cut this off and apply it. Remember, today we printed on some um, on some aprons, on some hats, some visors, and some t-shirts. Check it out. So again, today guys, we're working at about 370, 350 degrees. And we're gonna work this one for uh, about 10 seconds. I first like to give the, the shirt a little bit of heat before we put the um, apply the, the graphic on it just to get all the moisture out so I usually give it a little uh, 10 seconds or so heat you know make it a little bit nice and moist and warm there you go then we apply the, the graphic uh, which we already cut out and ready to go you apply the graphic at the point at the location you want it and then you press Again, we're working with about um, 10 degrees, uh, 370, 350 degrees around that range for about 10 seconds. Now this is a cold peel, which means that after the graphic is, is pressed onto the shirt, you basically leave it for a little while uh, so that it would, it would get cool, it would cool off. And then you do the next one. Now the same will apply for hats, caps, and visors. And I do believe and recommend that having the right equipment the right equipment makes the job easier so for hats you wouldn't use the same heat press as if you were doing a shirt uh, likewise if you're doing uh, something like a, like a visor it would be different than than if you're doing uh, say like one of these right so 
The right equipment is important. For these, I use my nice little handheld presser right here, hat press, and it makes the job easier, all right? So this was done using my nice little handheld um, hat press device. And we have all the hats ready to go, as you can see. The hats are all done. And the customer, the customer should be happy. So what we're doing here, guys, uh, we're, we're cutting out the graphic to put on to an apron, right? Remember I told you getting all of this graphic done in the appropriate size is important. So the size that we're gonna use for this apron, it was already measured. So this is the ap appropriate size for that. And I said earlier, it's different than the size that we're gonna use for the left side pocket of a t-shirt. So they all size appropriately in the first process when I was doing the design before we sent it to the print, right? So this one is specifically for the apron and this is how we lay the apron out to print. Right guys, so here we have the apron now. It was all pressed and all cool and nice and it's perfect, right? Again, as you can see, big up to Pepper's Park Slope restaurant um, and this apron is ready to go. So again, when you print it, you have to remember the size of the substrate. The substrate meaning whatever you're putting it on, and that have to be figured out in the design process. Because if you made this too big, or if you made it too small, it wouldn't fit properly. It wouldn't fit appropriately. So it's important that you measure everything before you send to the printer. Now the same could be said for the shirt. So for the shirt, we're doing some left side pocket prints. And we just printed this one. And I left it to cool off, right? So this is the paper still on it. It's, it, it cooled off a bit. And then after you finish, you just basically rip the paper off right like so i like to do a second process because i think that i i i i mean i wanted to to um to be fully bonded so here i have my patchment paper and this i i like to apply as a second press you apply the patchment paper over the graphic like so and you give it a second press that helps with the bonding of, of the graphic onto the shirt. A second press will guarantee that it holds properly. So you have 50, 60 wash, it wouldn't peel or it wouldn't start to show in any kind of way. Your attachment paper does the trick. And here I go guys. Ooh, hot, it's hot. So remember, you gotta be careful there. Eh? So it's hot and it's ready to go. Here you go guys. This is the t-shirt print for the uh, Peppers restaurant. So we spoke earlier about the visors and I printed some visors earlier. I want to show you, these are the visors that, that we did. Again, the size of the visor is much smaller than the hat. So when you're designing the visor, you have to keep in mind that the graphic has, it has to, you have to measure the area, measure the substrate. And that was done prior to the design. So I know that it will fit properly. So here we go, guys, we got the hat, uh, the visor, sorry, we got the shirt, we got the apron right here, the apron, different colors, and then we have the hats, all printed in the process called DTF Direct to Film. If you need more information on DTF printing or you need garments to be printed, right here, you can check us out. We have a location here in the New York City area, also a location in Grenada, so check us out.